Welcome, I am John Lira, and in this demo, I will be using the Informatica developer to show you how to create and use physical data objects. Physical data objects can be brought in by importing them from relational databases or flat files, or creating them yourself as either relational or flat files, and they can be used for reading in or writing out data in a mapping. And mappings, of course, can have transform transformational logic to modify the data. Let's get started. And first thing I want to do is bring up developer, which I have already. And at this point, on the right-hand side, you see all my existing database connections. Your administrator or your lead developer has created those. And I'm going to bring them in into my, my project. Now, the first thing I have, notice I have a project with two folders and I am going to right mouse click and say that I want to create some data objects. I'm going to create, the first one I'm going to create is a relational data object and you'll see that it'll, it's done pretty straightforward. The connection to which I am connecting, which is MMEDW, Enterprise Data Warehouse, and then I look for the table that I want to bring in. Notice I can create a data object from an existing resource or I can create a customized. This one I want to create from an existing resource. So I'm going to bring in the, bring in the structure of dim customers and it asks me for a name. I can type a name, but I'll just leave it as dim customers where I want to store it and I am finished. Here is the data object, which is a relational database that I have brought in. Notice the columns, the types, and then notice that I have also brought in the keys that were physically in the database. There's a key call, as you can see, there's a key call sys C00712234 that is in my physical table, and the key is customer ID. In other modules, I'll show you how you can create different keys if you need to. Then we can also create, create various relationships between this object and another, and a few more tabs on advance of the actual connection that it is a type oracle and it is a table. So we're done with this. Now, what can I do? I can go to data viewer and I can actually preview the data. Of course, if we were creating a mapping, I could use this already. So I'm going to go to data viewer and just run it and you'll see the data itself. There goes the data. So that is a physical data object of type relational. Let me create another one. So I'm going to go ahead and create another physical data object. And in this case, it's also a data object and it will be relational. And what I'll do at this case, I'm going to click next. This time I want to make it a customized one. So I'll give it a name. This time, let's assume I, I want to call it dim customers female, just in case I want to have a relational object dealing with only those customers that are type female. You can actually create whatever you want and the connection again, I want to put it in MMEDW and I click finish and notice this is missing the columns. So I could go ahead and define the columns, but we might be able to do this a little bit differently. We can use an existing object. Remember that dim customer female is pretty much and it should be pretty much like dim customers. So on the extreme right under connections, I can right mouse click and say add to project. Add as, add, add as related resource to an existing object that I have open. And there, there it is, dim customer female. So another way to do this, I could have entered each column and defined the data type, etc. but this was easier. And that defines my second physical data object of type relational and this is a customize. And then lastly, I could go also go ahead and define a physical data object, but this time of a flat file. I can go ahead and define a flat file and same thing as a relational object. I can either create it as an empty one or from an existing flat file structure. I will create it from an empty one and I will call this I will call this customers. Okay, where I'm gonna, where am I gonna store it? In the main repository in the consolidation shared folder. I go to next, 
And notice this is like any typical flat file. You select the code page, the delimiter that you want, and the text qualifier. And at this moment, we're done. Again, I could go ahead and define the columns, the data types. But what I could do, since this is going to, my intention is to have this be the output of the relational objects that I will process. What I will do is just go to dim customer. I will select all the columns, select all, copy, and then go back to my flat file and paste anything that can speed up our productivity. At that moment, I'm done. And now let me go back and review. Let me close a few objects. Let, uh, let me save these. And then we'll take a look that we are done and we can actually use them. So we have created a physical data object called customer, which is a flat file. I've created two relational uh, uh, objects, data objects, customer. If I open them, I can see them. I, and if I open the second one, again, I can see that. Now notice if I go to a physical flat file here, I can go to overview, read, and notice that I gotta set that. So let's, let's start with the flat file. Notice that I have these two windows. Let's go to customers and I go to overview, keys, relationship, and advance. So it's the flat file here that I gotta worry about if I wanna read data from it or if I wanna write data to it. So I intend to write data to it, so I don't really need to be concerned about the uh, preparing the read attributes for it, but let's see. So the way you read this is the left is the object itself. If I were to use it to read data from, then I click output. So the object will be reading data and it will be sent it to the output, which would be the input to my mapping. So therefore I click on read and you can see that if I go to properties, I see the runtime. Where would this file be reading data? I'm just gonna keep the default. It would read it from customer.dat. It's coming from the source file directory. Now, I tend to use this to write data, so I'm more concerned about the write. Notice how these two transformations get changed. I'll do it one more time, read and write. In this case, if my mapping were to use this object, it would be inputting data and then send it out to a file. So I'm gonna click on input, click on runtime, and here is where I have to be specific because this is where I really wanna write data out to. So I wanna output field names and the name of the file, I'll just call it customers out, customer, let's call it customer, customers data out dot, in this case, let's call it txt. There it is. So at this moment, I'm pretty much done. And let me just close my objects and go ahead and make sure that I save what I've done. And now we have the three data objects. What could I do now? I could actually use them. I can read data, I can write data, or I'll, a quick demo would be to create a mapping. But what I will do in another demo is go ahead and finish this mapping, reading these objects that I have created. At this moment, we're done, and I wanna thank you.